that appropriate? America's religion, money. The birthday bells, I ordered them just for you. Oh, yeah. They only count seven, Simon, as in seven o'clock. Well, so I underestimated a little bit. Oh, yeah. How many should there have been, Joey? I can tell you guys. <laughs> all right, all right. So maybe Joey's a young, but the rest of us are, and so is the night. Where to next? Party. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think we should let the birthday girl decide. Thank you. So, where to next? <laughs> hey, Charlie! Open Charlie! Up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we filled him up with hot air from the last war meeting. It took only two minutes. <laughs> all right, all right, so... Now we head to somewhere exotic. Looks like Kerensky already has. Your game! Ah, whatever. <laughs> Good in, baby! Charlie, we're going dancing! The schedule is ridiculous. I can't be five places at once. Margo, you have to be more Dargo. flexible and accommodating about this. No, no. I have been accommodating. Dargo. And frankly, if they can't understand... Dargo. Why? Look at this. Dargo, are you listening to me? No, no, not you, John. I was talking to Simon. Listen, something came up. I'll call you back soon. Dargo! Lisa, this is this artist's sketch of the man they are seeking in connection with the last night shooting a 44-year-old Robert Muncy. Manhattan Financial District. The suspect is described as a male Caucasian, mid 30, six feet tall, long blonde hair. Yeah, but he can't be. Hey guys, thanks again for last night. Look at this. It was fun. What do you think? It's Kerensky. Yeah, but he can't be. It's a sketch, right? It looks a little bit like Kerensky, but. Hey, man, where the hell have you been all night? You didn't go off and shoot anybody, did you? Oh, you've seen that bizarre or what? Yeah, where did you go last night? I saw an old friend from Moscow, at least I thought I did, someone I hadn't seen in years. Anyway, by the time we got back, you guys had already gone. I'm sorry, Joy, I didn't mean to abandon you on your birthday. Mm -hmm. I understand, I guess. Speaking of Moscow, though, something's come up, and uh, I have to fly back there just for a few days. Problems? No, no, no. It's family business. Uh, something that I have to deal with. Would you like to take the biz jet? I've already booked a flight, and uh, I'm leaving right now. As a matter of fact, it's a cab downstairs. Well, in that case, uh, bon voyage. 
Say hi to Mamushka. See ya. Thanks. You guys should get some sleep. He doesn't have any family in Russia. Friend who may be in trouble? You don't really believe he shot that man. Maybe not. But why did he lie to us about going back to Russia? What's the address? 1105. Maybe he's just picking up something his way to the airport. Yeah, right. Okay. The house is rented by Viktor Laranov. Russian? Mm-hmm. Official Russian. It's paid for by the Russian consulate. out the back, which is what we should do before the whole neighborhood shows up. Wait. There's something written on his hand. E-N-D-G-A. And ga? Let's think about it on our way out, huh? Come on. was SVR, the new version of the KGB. He was posted to the New York consulate as a trade attache last November. He came up through the ranks of the KGB and survived a changeover, which means he was either very good or very flexible. Kerensky must have known him. Probably. Yeah, but he didn't shoot him. No. He would never have been so clumsy as to set off the alarm. He broke the lock because he knew something was wrong. He found what we found. But still, two bodies in two days. Whatever it is, Kerensky's into it up to his balalaika. Well, the only word in the dictionary that begins with ENDGA is endgame. The final stage of a chess game after most of the pieces have been removed from the board. I can't believe two people were killed over a chess game. Uh, it's gotta be some kind of code name. Why don't we just ask Kerensky? Well, you have to find him first. Well, we know he's in town. Where would he go? Russian tea room? Maybe he's at home. Good thinking. No, I hate to say it, but you're gonna have to take him by surprise. Keep me posted. I'm gonna stay here and keep digging. Oh, and guys, I'm not accusing him of anything.
You move your dad. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in Russia? And why didn't you open the door when we knocked? What the hell's going on, Jorge? It's a long story. The short version is there's a man who's trying to kill me. He's already killed two others. One of them being Victor Larinov? How do you know about him? We found his body. Look, guys, I really appreciate your concern, but I need to do this on my own now. You should get out of here before it's too late. Do what? Trust me. Stay where you are, please. Or we will kill Kiarevsky. Другого выбора не было. Мистер Финч, мистер Огранас, excuse the inconvenience, but we wish to speak with Georgi, and as always with Georgi, there are difficulties. Guys, this is Colonel Anya Koplova, SVR, new Russian secret police. Sergey. Vasily, Ivan, Yuri, the old gang is together, I see. Not the entire team. There is one missing. So you guys are all old pals? Oh, yeah. Best of friends. Friends like these? No wonder he left the KGB. Yushchenko is here. Since five days. He killed Victor. Then. Yesterday, I went to Victor's house, but Grishenko was ahead of me. Again? Who is this Grishenko? Fiat Grishenko. We were all KGB. This does not involve them. You brought them here. They're involved. Grishenko's right-wing hardline, a relic of the old USSR. When the Soviet Union fell apart, he was involved in a plot to kill Yeltsin. We tried to arrest him. But he was allowed to escape. <laughs> Easy, comrades. I did not allow him to escape. I headed the pursuit team. We found a bit of his trap. Three men died. Good men. I accepted responsibility. I also paid a price. What price did you pay, Georgi? You are here and they are not. If Grishenko's in the United States, he's here for a reason, not a nice one. Grishenko is unpredictable. Do you have any idea what he's planning? I was hoping you might know. Does it have anything to do with Endgame? What do you know about Endgame? When we found Victor Larinov. He had Endgame written on his hand. Team were assigned to find Grushenko and bring him in. A few weeks ago, we had a tip that he was in Istanbul. He slipped through our fingers, but we trailed him to New York. How did he know you were at the warehouse? Did you talk to the consulate? I had to get clearance. 
Shenko may be a fugitive, but he still has friends who share his politics. You've got to cut yourself off from the consulate. And do what? My team is dead. Then let me help. Grushenko got away from me once. I have an obligation to stop him. Georg, you cannot... This isn't about you and me. It's about catching a killer. Even if I were to agree with you, what makes you think that the two of us could find him? It's not just the two of you. Why would you get involved? Krishenko means nothing to you. If Kerensky's in this, so are we. But we need to know what Endgame is. It's a code name for a KGB operation set up during the last few days of the old Soviet regime. Grushenko was in charge. It involved deep cover KGB agents planted in the U.S. And that's all I ever knew. There are only two people who know its exact purpose. Grushenko and the leader of our unit, Viktor Larinov. Who is dead now. So Endgame was some kind of... Uh... Covert operation against the United States? To be activated in wartime only. Could Grushenko activate it on his own? Perhaps. Grushenko hates America. He holds it responsible for the collapse of the USSR and for the turmoil of his life. Fact is, he was always crazy. Now that he's on the run, who knows what he's capable of? These deep cover agents. Is there a list of their names? They would be in the old KGB files. But I would have to get official permission to access them. And that could take some time. Not if I do it. He the man. How do you do this? I just do. And that's as far as I've been able to get you. You wouldn't happen to have a level four security clearance, would you? Move. Now, this is like Soviet foreplay, right? He hacks a government computer, she hacks a government computer, and then they go off and make little split things together. End game. Here it is. It says there are four agents that were trained to live in America and blend in completely. Does it tell you their names? No, it lists only their Russian names. It does not say their deep cover American names. What about locations? Are they scattered all over the country? They seem concentrated. But the message traffic came to the New York consulate. Georgi. Sinitsin Tupola, Popovich, Kamarov, I know these men, I trained them. Sounds like a hockey team. You trained them? That was one of my jobs, training Russian agents to pass as Americans. Do you remember anything about them that could help us figure out their American identities? We never discussed their assignments, but I do remember one thing. They all had tradesmen's backgrounds. Sinitsin was a mechanic, Tupolev was a plumber, Popovich, I can't remember. Kamarov was a welder. The idea was for them to use these skills for part of their cover. Well, if we could put together a physical profile of each man based on height, weight, uh, age, hair color, profession, we could cross-reference them with Union and DMV records. It's a place to start. Uh, just one question. Who's going for takeout? Mr. Lasker, do you remember me? I never thought you would come.
shoulders that more or less match the camera profile. How many? 211. Oh, there's even more plumbers to fit Anatoly Tupolev's description. It'd take weeks to check all these men. You got a better idea? version of Wilhelm, Wilhelm Steinitz. 1886, the first world champion of chess. And then game is a chess drum. Ryshenkov was a chess fanatic. He was constantly challenging other agents. And beating them. Everyone but you. How many world chess champions were there? Thirteen, but we can eliminate the Russians that never use a Russian name. Nor anyone who's still living. And that leaves us with... Three, uh, Wilhelm Steinitz, Emanuel Lasker, and Jose Capablanca. Hold on. I've got a plumber named Joseph Capablanca. Lasker. Manny Lasker. He's a welder. Okay, look, you said there were three that matched our criteria. We need four. Paul Morphy was the first great American player, but he died before they crowned the first champion. Huh, I always figured you were a chat nerd. Paul, Paul Morphy. Murphy. Now we contact them. You better get that. It might be the phone. The only people who have this number are in this room. Yeah. So many years, your game. And still the game continues. Now we've come full circle. Do you remember what happened the last time? I will, Jorge. Grishenko. He's toying with you. He's pitting us against each other, Anya. Divide and conquer. According to police reports, William Steinitz was shot to death in his backyard six hours ago. What are these guys were planted here to do? They don't need to be alive to do it. Anything on Capablanca, Lasker, or Morphe? Yeah, two answering machines, one no answer. What did Grushenko mean, full circle? When did you become enemies? August of 91. It was the felt crew against Yeltsin, the end of the USSR. When in August? 21st. Today's August 20th. Tomorrow is the anniversary. Guys, we just ran out of time. We need to know if Capablanca, Lasker, or Morphe are still alive, and we need to know now. We'll divide into teams. Okay, well, I got Morphe. I know the area. Since there's five of us, I'll go solo. Naturally. Manny Lasker is the farthest away on Long Island. Sal and I will take him. Kerensky and Anya will take Capablanca. Oh, excuse me, but I would prefer a different partner. If we're not together, he cannot divide us. As the Colonel wishes. Fine. Anya, come with me. Sam and you and Kerensky. Be careful. We may run into Grushenko. He didn't tell you? Well, that's probably, you know, he's not the most open guy in the world. No, he isn't. So, that Anya, you two were on the KGB figure skating team together? Wasn't that, huh? Yeah. 
Let me guess. You couldn't agree on China patterns. Or was it China politics? I actually did ask her to marry me. Oh. She said she wasn't ready for that kind of commitment, so we broke it off. I thought maybe with time. Then one day I came back unexpectedly from a mission. <laughs> Classic. Found Anya and my best friend. Whoops. Yeah, whoops. Georgi was a good man. I loved him. Just wasn't ready to marry him. He said if I wasn't ready to marry him now, that it was over. I was hurt. Dimitri was there. It was stupid to go to bed with him. But I was angry. I saved Dimitri's life in Afghanistan. I couldn't believe he'd do that to me. And Anya. Kurgi went crazy. There was a fight in Dimitri. I'd never seen Georgi so angry. I thought he would kill Dimitri. Finally, the police came and broke it up. She hurt me. I hated her. Both of them. And then Victor put me in charge of the team sent to arrest Grishenko. Dimitri was on the team, and Grishenko. Somehow he knew we were coming. Georgi let Dimitri die. Reverse. After that, he resigned from the KGB and left Russia. You know what he did? I was the scapegoat. They said that I helped Grishenko. Anya said it. I can't forget, and I can't forgive. Why am I telling you this? Mr. Capoblanc has done well for himself. That's Grishenko. more concerned for you. I'm touched. We blast him. Lights on. What, is anybody home? Paul Morphy's house. He's dead. Morphy's dead. Where'd you find him? In the basement. Basement, huh? We'll check out the basement here. What's your step? And there's something else. Somebody knocked a big hole in the wall. There's a compartment behind it. There's nothing here. It looks empty. We've got the same thing here. Freeze! Don't move! Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air! Easy, boys. You guys are making big mistakes. Yeah, tell us about it at the station. Hey, this guy look familiar? Uh-huh. I think we got ourselves a murderer. What do you make of it, Largo? So both these guys have something so secret. They built compartments in their walls to hold it. And I bet that goes for the others as well. 
Each had a piece of something. Five pieces of one. This guy's got radiation tags on his workbench. Radiation tags? Mr. Vinch? This one, too. Why would... A bomb. An atomic bomb. and the Wall Street shooting came through. They dropped all the charges. I have to. The bullets didn't match. See? I knew he was innocent all along. The bad news is, Krushenko's still out there. The news gets a lot worse. We think that Endgame is all about detonating a nuclear bomb in New York City. What? You can't be serious. We've been struggling with the same thing. But why would anybody want to do something like that? You don't think the CIA would do it if they had the opportunity? No comment. We've been trying to clean up the messes the KGB left behind since the Soviet Union collapsed. Yushchenko is one of these messes. He's a madman with the training of a top agent. We gotta call the cops. And say what? We don't have any proof. Just a bunch of theories. How big would this bomb be? Uh, I think it would be a cylinder about three feet. Probably weigh about 150 pounds. And what would that do? Make a crater 200 feet across, take down every building within a mile, start fires all the way to New Jersey. 70,000 dead in the initial blast. Five times that many from radiation over the next few weeks. Come on, guys. We got to call somebody. Simon, do you really believe they'd evacuate New York City on our say-so? Besides, there's not enough time. We figure it's set to go off in the next few hours. Well, well at least show them what you've got. Anya. You're a Russian agent. Your government would confirm this? No, they deny it. He's right. They would never admit to it. It'd be an act of war. Can't waste the next few hours trying to convince a bunch of bureaucrats that their city's about to explode. We have to find Grushenko. That's right. I mean, we're talking about an atomic bomb here that you could detonate anywhere. The first time you saw him was in the Wall Street district, right? Why was he there? None of the deep cover agents live there. Then he was there for something else. Wall Street is the heart of America. the street. All right, let's split up. Joey, Simon, when you go that way, we'll go this way. We're looking for what? Well, hopefully we'll know when we see it. Come on.
Joy. Margo, where are you? The White Queen on Pearl Street, and I've got the bomb. What do I do? What do you see? It's a cylinder. Timers. On both ends, and in the middle. We've got less than three minutes. Okay, it's the old style. All charges need to go off simultaneously. You need to remove the coordinator, the, the sync device. What does it look like? It, it's a box. Uh, somewhere in the middle. Do you see any wires? Nope. They routed it through the casing. Okay, you need to get into the box and cut the wires. Look, I've got no idea how to get into a sync box. It's locked. Pry it open. It's no use, Bill. You're finished. We're all finished, Jorge. Ever since our homeland died. Don't worry, Jorge. We will have our vengeance very soon. For what? I'm losing you. Joy. Largo? Uh, look for a white wire with a red stripe or a green wire. White and red. Got it. Okay, cut it. The timers are still moving. Right, but it's not synchronized anymore, so it's not an atomic bomb, but it is still a bomb and it will still explode. You need to disarm the detonators at either end. What? The detonators. The detonators. I will die a happy man, Jorgi. Can you say the same? Which wire? What colors? It's a rainbow. <laughs> Joy, which wire? Hey, you all right? Cut the wall. You have a phone? Phone, you have a phone? Koreski! Uh -huh. Oh, oh, you Cut them all! Cut them all! Largo! The timer on top is still counting. Get the hell out of there! Still here. What happened? Nothing. The bomb didn't go off. <laughs> Ten years stored in a damp basement. The circuits must have corroded. <laughs> Problem here. No. I don't believe it. It's impossible. Ten years you planned, Pierre. Ten years and you still screwed up. Officially, my superiors were not pleased that I chose to coordinate my efforts with Group W. Well, at least we're not CIA. But unofficially, they were pleased. Grishenko was a madman who could have destroyed both of our countries if we had failed. Good thing we didn't fail. Yeah. Okay. Your car is downstairs. Thank you all very much. Спасибо.
Bye. I have a debriefing in Moscow. We'll tell them, Georgi, that we were wrong about you. Then and now. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's it? Goodbye? You're just gonna let him walk out of your life again? With all due respect, Largo, that's none of your business. If, um... You will excuse me. So, is this it then? There's nothing else? Between us? You came to America because you wanted to fill a void in your soul, Georgi. Have you done that? No, not yet. I cannot fill that void. I cannot take that responsibility. Georgi. Go to your friends, Georgi. They will help you. <laughs>